All right, it is Wednesday. Let's talk about my Wednesday weather word, a very appropriate one for this week. The dreaded inversion. If you've lived in Idaho for a long time, you kind of know what this is, what it looks like, what the setup is. But if you're new to the area or maybe just need a refresher, here we go. So an inversion at its most basic means temperatures increase with height. It's a reversal, kind of an inversion of the normal atmospheric setup, where of course you get cooler as you climb up in height. That's why our mountains see cooler temperatures in the valleys, right? But this is not the case with an inversion. We get stagnant conditions conditions at the surface, really preventing the mixing of those atmospheric layers so that warm air aloft acts like a lid to trap the cooler air below. So we start seeing mountain temperatures rivaling, sometimes even warmer than those of the Treasure Valley. You know what else it traps, of course, those pollutants. So this is what we start looking like when we have a really strong inversion in play, right? Looks like it's foggy, hazy, murky, even though skies are clear above that inversion layer. Layer, we get those pollutants trapped at the surface that start to worsen our air quality. That's why we currently have that air stagnation advisory in effect because it might start looking like this out there. Air quality could get poorer and poorer. It is common in winter to have this set in simply because of lack of warming. We need that uh, the lower atmosphere to warm to the temperatures of the higher atmosphere to kind of start that mixing process. And because of longer nights and just cooler temperatures in general, we tend to see these set in for a longer amount of time in the winter months.